we're going to look at what can we do to make this shift, right? And, and the dynamic is this, or the psychology is this. When we are worried about our people leaving, uh, we're thinking about, you know, we have a really, really skilled employee. We have someone that performs very well. And we kind of know that maybe they're a little bit overqualified for this role or they are a little bit above kind of the, the average of the team. And we worry, what if they leave? And when I was in one of the corporations I worked for, we had these scenarios and we say, well, what if Florin leaves? What happens? So we had, you know, three case scenarios that if Florin leaves, what do we do? So we kind of play with these scenarios. What if they leave? But we don't spend a lot of time into looking at why should they stay? Mm-hmm, exactly, yeah. Do you get a difference? So, so when you, when yeah, you think yeah. about retention, we're looking at, okay, what if they leave and what will be some of the reasons why they will leave? But we don't spend a lot of time looking at what are some reasons why they should stay. So that's kind of the mindset shift that we want to make. So even if you are afraid or maybe worried that people might leave, well, if we spend more time into thinking about that, think about what we're going to do. We're going to try to do things just to have them stay. So sometimes we're going to maybe um, offer them opportunities for growth just so they don't leave, or maybe we will increase their salaries just so they don't leave, rather than looking at, oh, what if we help them see value in being part of it? What if we help them see what I love about work? Does it make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes it makes sense. And it's, it's just a matter of if you remember, and I would like to share with people, uh, think about what is causing somebody to survive rather than to live. So if you if you want to survive, you just try to keep everything, your efforts to the minimum. Uh, you want to make sure that you actually keep yourself alive. But when you are thinking about, okay, I want to live, I want to follow my dreams, I want to go further, I want to be included, I want to have a contribution. So it's like a matter for everybody to think about when we think about uh, the difference between retention and inclusion. Just think about this one. 